Imagine cloning any voice with just 10 seconds of audio. Introducing F5 TTS, the revolutionary voice cloning technology that captures tone and emotions like sadness, happiness, and more. With F5 TTS, you can create a digital clone of any voice, complete with its unique personality and emotional expression. In this video, we'll show you how to harness the power of F5 TTS and create stunning TTSS experiences with just a few clicks. Get ready to experience the future of voice cloning. So the audio you heard in the intro of the video was completely generated by using F5 TTS. So in this video exactly I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. It will be just a quick installation how to install in your laptop if your laptop is powerful enough to handle that. Otherwise I'm going to show you a hugging face space and a little bit of process how you can do that. It's really easy not much so let's dive into that. So this will be the repository you're going to get the get to this page from below description or you can directly search f5 tts github and you can come in over here so it's really good work you can give it a star as well now the first thing i'm going to show you how you can run it on a hugging face space so if you scroll below there will be a space demo you can open this up as a basic TTS so just have to upload the audio and you have to provide it the text you want to generate with the same vocals of this audio you upload you have multi-speech you have a voice chat and uh, there is a credit section over here so in multi-speech you can just uh, so you can upload your speech in multiple expressions or different people's speeches and then you can give it a tag like the regular one speaking this and then in a surprised manner you are speaking like this in a sad manner you'll be speaking this sentence to so just get an idea and also you can upload different speaker audios as well so it is just like that i'm going to show you this later on but let's just see basic tts so you, you can either record directly from here or you can have a software like audacity or something or you could have uh, inbuilt software to record your audio so i'll just uh, record my audio real quick using this uh, audacity software and you don't need even much like five second ten second would do the job now you just have to export the audio i'm gonna say my vocals dot mp3 just export it and you have to upload it by just clicking on this and select wherever it is located and oh you will see we have uploaded it now you can provide it the text you want to generate and just click on synthesize and it will going to quickly synthesize your audio yep that's it hi how are you so you can provide like based on your uploaded audio the output audio will be similar so if you are speaking surprised the output audio will be surprised if you are speaking sad manner the output audio will be sad and you get the point now for the multi-speech you can provide your like i'll say sp and i'll just upload my speaker one so i think there is some problem going on with the multi-speech one so it just says that you can upload your audio and uh, after uploading the audio we can click on add speech type but it says that maximum number of speech type exhausted consider restarting at the f and uh, it just doesn't seem to be working probably in the local one it will work earlier few days earlier i was trying it was working really good anyways you just got the point like how this is going to work out and there is a section for voice chat so you just upload your audio but my audio real quick using yep and in the advanced section you can basically tweak the settings like remove silence from the generated audio reference test text it will going to automatically transcribe whatever you are speaking and this is the system prompt for the large language model it's going to use so okay i'll just type my message hi and i'll just send the message hello how can i assist you today yep it's really good you just get the point it's just using large language model just uh, your voice now so it's really good powerful one so now that you have the idea how you can run f5 tts on your uh, laptop basically on your browser 
using the hugging face space now i'm going to show you how you can install locally on your laptop or system and run it so running it is really 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 simple i'm just gonna use the https link from here you can just click on code and just copy it like that and uh, open your terminal command prompt whatever you use just navigate to the directory wherever you want to install this so i'm gonna install it in my documents development i'm gonna make a directory for yt f5 i'm gonna say cd2 yt f5 and you just have to say git clone and just paste the link here and it's gonna download the code for you so before running make sure you have the torch and the torch audio installed well installing that is really simple you just have to search pytorch on the google and just click on get started or just open the first link and then from there there is a uh, get started over here and just click on start locally just select your system so i just want to use uh, let's say nightly preview one and i have mac and i want to install by using pip and the language will be python of course and uh, uh, mac doesn't have any code or rocm so it will be default just copy this link and paste it in your terminal paste it and run it and it's gonna install torch in your laptop besides that it will also going to require few more uh, packages so you just have to click cd f5 tts and if i ls you see we will have a we have a pyproject.toml file and it have these following dependencies uh for installing they probably already gave you this command you just have to copy it or just say pip install dash e dot and it's going to install all the dependencies basically so i'm just going to cancel it because i already have all the installed ones now for inferencing we just go to inference section for inferencing you have basically two methods either you can use cli command line interface which we are using already so it will be similar to this fashion or you can use gradio interface which is, which will be similar to this one so i'm going to show you how you can do with gradio one and with inference it will be really simple just you have to run this command uh you have to give the model name you want to use f5 or e2 the reference audio path the reference text or if you can leave this empty for auto transcribing and then you have to provide the text you want to generate so i'm going to show you how to run the grade one it's really simple and less complicated for people not familiar with the command line interfaces so just uh either you can copy this command and it will going to run that interface for you or if it is creating any issues i'll show you a different way you can type this command cd to source src then f5 tts then uh, infer and then if you again say ls to list all the files you will see a file called infergradio.py you just have to say python infergradio.py so when you run this command it's going to download few models the wisp model for auto transcribing the f5 model so after downloading those models it's going to start the gradio interface i have already ran it once so it already downloaded those models so you can see the path of the models i have already installed them and they are downloaded in the cache directory of my laptop so you see it's already running on the local url just hold control or command and click on this link or manually type this command in your browser and it's going to open the gradio interface for you so that's it for this video if you have any doubt or any queries or any issues you came across while installing f5 tts just let me know down in comment section i'll be more than happy to solve that see you